So if you're running a social media marketing agency, over the past few years, you've probably noticed a huge saturation in the market, especially in the whole e-commerce Facebook space. All those Facebook ads for e-commerce brands or local businesses are all competing for the same type of audience. And actually think about how many people get into SMMA on a daily basis. So you're sitting here with your agency kind of wondering what to do next because you end up competing on price, you end up competing on giving out performance fees, you, or you basically can't get clients because they've all been outreached by the same agency doing the same thing over thousands of times. So if you were to wake up one day and let's say you had an idea, an untapped niche industry that you could go into, if you took action and actually worked in that niche, you'd probably be successful, right? You'd find your blue ocean offer and kind of get away from the crowd. It's not a dream, there are actually untapped niches out there in the social media marketing space. The reason people don't really notice those industries or niches because everyone has a herd mentality of doing things. We see someone doing Facebook ads for e-commerce, we follow. We see someone doing software for local businesses, we follow. So in today's video, I actually wanna uncover those hidden niches and industries that you can go to. If you're just in the beginning stages of running your social media marketing agency and you've chose the path of Facebook advertising for local businesses or e-commerce, just stop rethink it let me show you some untapped industries that you could potentially go to we've actually seen a huge oversaturation in the market especially from 2022 and coming to this year 2023 everyone just wants to run facebook ads everyone wants to go to the same type of audience the problem with this whole space is as i said in my last videos and something that charlie morgan also preaches we do what's called monkey see, monkey do. What that means is we see one guru, one big social media marketing guy promoting a certain niche, a certain industry, a certain service. And just because we can't think for ourselves, maybe because a lot of you guys are just beginning or in the beginning stages of social media marketing, you go with whatever your favorite guru tells you to go with. But right now with the rise of social media marketing, you see a lot of people starting the same thing. You see people offering Facebook ads, Google ads, maybe SEO, social media management to the same type of audience with the same type of offer. And it just gets really, really hard to stand out. If you have, let's say a thousand people, right? Reaching out and spamming your Gmail, Outlook or whatever you use every single day, offering Facebook ads, offering a 20X ROAS, you as a business owner will probably get overwhelmed and you wouldn't work with an agency unless there's something different about them, something unique that they can offer. But when that happens, there is a huge supply of marketing agencies offering the same type of thing to their clients and there's a low demand for these marketing agencies. So before choosing your industry, you gotta think about it in a way as, imagine an ocean pool, right? And imagine an ocean pool like infested with sharks, all trying to catch that one fish. What are your chances of actually getting that fish? Slim to probably none. That's exactly what you're doing right now is you're surrounded in the red ocean by a bunch of sharks. People who have been in the industry for the longest time possible right now, you come in, start Facebook ads for e-commerce, brands and you're trying to compete against the big players out there who have worked on their offer, they have worked on their value proposition and they have actually perfected their service delivery. I'm not saying this to discourage you from running a social media marketing agency. I'm just telling you as a warning. I mean, if you wanna run Facebook ads for e-commerce brands, be my guest, go for it. It is not a bad in niche industry. It just takes quite a while to perfect and to be able to sign clients every single month. So you got two options, right? You either go into the whole e-commerce, lead generation, Facebook ad space, but you gotta really work hard to perfect your delivery, perfect your offer, and actually raise your perceived value. Or number two, you carve your own path you look at what everyone's doing and you do completely the opposite hence less competition more demand low supply and people would actually want your product if they think that it can get them to their 
well, whatever goal that they have set for their business. So if you choose path two and you actually want to find your own path, find your own ocean with no other sharks there to catch that one fish, then here are some untapped industries that you could potentially go for. Niche number one, community building for fashion brands. Now this service can be really, really valuable to fashion brands, especially if they're just starting out. And it could go into hand with their paid advertising efforts because we all know if you have a very good community, a very good organic presence behind you, then paid advertising are going to be a success. Because people don't buy into fashion brands because the clothes look nice. I mean, the fashion industry itself is saturated as well. So there's a lot of clothes out there. The reason why people actually buy clothes is the feeling of a community that it gives them. For example, people wearing Louis Vuitton, maybe they like the design but it's more about the prestige feeling that it gives you and this is where you come in you come in to build a cult like following for these fashion brands you basically gotta brainstorm different ideas of how can you build up a brand how can you build up a community a strong community that religiously follows a brand and to be honest it's not even just fashion brands that need the whole community building i mean you can think of so many businesses out there that need a strong community presence and taking that point here's niche number two that you could go into which is crypto development now it is a very touchy subject I must say right now, especially how the crypto space is currently. However, if you believe in the project and what the founders are looking to get out with the crypto coin or the crypto project that they're trying to promote, they will need to focus on the backend systems, but what they need to focus on the most is marketing the crypto out. So they need someone in the backend building the whole sort of foundation behind the crypto coin, whilst they can go ahead and market that crypto coin. So this is where you actually come in. You solve a problem of maybe saving time, saving money and filling in that knowledge gap of actually developing these projects. And if you actually believe in the project and you've done some heavy research on the team behind it, and you actually think that it's going to somewhere rather than just a pump and dump, then you can actually set up a payment structure where you take a percentage of whatever gains have come out of that crypto coin. So it's basically like taking a share percentage out of the project. And the last niche, we have seen a huge rise of this in the last couple of months. And I've actually done a video on it and how I use this specific tool in my everyday business operations. But what this is, is artificial intelligence. There's actually a huge surplus of AI companies coming into the market every single day. Whenever I'm doing my mindless scrolling on TikTok, I always see some sort of new software which integrates AI, which solves a particular task, problem, or saves you time. This task is becoming very, very popular these days. So what you could do is become a market for these SaaS companies. You could either do a done for you approach or you can do it in a done with you approach where you just consult the SaaS company on how they could best market their software to their target audience. So you basically gotta build out a full funnel approach for them, meaning top of funnel, middle of funnel and bottom of the funnel. You also gotta help them figure out their customer journey, how a customer finds their software and how a customer stays using their software, meaning reducing their churn rate. If you do a little bit of search into software companies and actually try out some softwares and figure out the whole way of keeping their customer retention high and how they actually get customers through the door then you can learn a lot about what you can do to help your software clients so these are the top three niches that you could actually go into right now these are something different and something i don't see a lot of people doing or a lot of people promoting but take it with a grain of salt now you don't want to exactly copy these exact industries but use it as a framework to come up with something for your own meaning create your own path so take a paper take a notepad and come up with some untapped niches something like the examples i've just given you write out maybe 10 to 12 no matter how crazy they are just write them out do research on every single niche there is see where you can come in and solve a particular problem and then go full force into that niche and just block every noise out there out don't listen to anyone just focus on that one single niche so once you've done that and actually picked an industry and niche next you need to figure out how to actually get those clients so if you want i have a full video on building out your whole client acquisition system 
system. So go watch that and then go watch my top 10 ways or ways that I use AI in my everyday business operations that could make you get to whatever point you want to get to very, very quick.